hello my Cyberton John and this here is the end of another year. Yes, we are at the end of 2019. Now um this is around time when I usually share about some of the things um that I got around Christmas and um please do excuse one of the things that is actually working right now. <laughs> that I got at Christmas, uh, we'll get to a little bit what that is. Um, so, first things up first, um, so, um, I got from, uh, my grandparents, uh, a bumblebee, a World War II bumblebee from, um, Toy World. Yeah, this is, this is it, um, he's actually... He is really cool. Um, Diecast pieces on it, very very decent. He he was really really tight and um, unbelievably I transformed it without instructions um, and did not break a single piece on him. That one's pretty cool. Um, the other thing that comes with it, which I'm I'm actually pretty happy about. I I I wanted to get it for. Um, for this purpose as well, um, he comes with a World War II uh, Starscream piece. So I have the Lego Starscream, as you can see uh, right here. I'll just take it out. Um, as you can see right here, this is the um, leg of Starscream. Yeah, I, I honestly, it looks really, really cool. It, I'm gonna keep it safe um, in this foam in the box until I get. The rest of pieces, but um, I'm really excited for some of the third parties that um, are coming out next year. Um, from what I, from what I know, we we're, we're getting Freedom Leader next year. We're gonna be getting uh, Shatter next year. Um, we'll probably maybe get Dropkick next year as well, um, and maybe a couple more World War Two figures down uh, down the lane as well. Um, They've already shown us the uh, blueprint, well, the prototype for Hot Rod. They're Hot Rod! <laughs> yeah, um... And, um, they've also shown us a little sneak peek of some other things that they're doing. They're, they're gonna be doing uh, a World War II Optimus Prime. Looks fairly G.I. Joe uh, versus Transformers inspired. Um, they're gonna be doing, um... <laughs> World War II Megatron as well. He looks like he's gonna be a tank again. Uh, and, um, they're gonna be doing some more Bumblebee bits as well. Um, hopefully, um, <laughs> at some point. Um, well, the other things that my grandparents got me was this, um, Hunt for Decepticons Sea Spray. I got a book from, um, <laughs> From one of my from my aunt, um, she got me the uh, Transformers um, Definitive G1 Collection Volume Six here um, of the comics. So as you can see, um, with all that in there, pretty. I think it's pretty cool. And look at that, we got Impactor right there. I found Impactor on the first page that I flipped open. That's awesome. And yes, we do have Impact. There is a G1 Impactor figure that you can get in Siege. I did forget to mention that um, amongst getting the Toy World Bumblebee, um, I am supposed to be getting a um, Toy World uh, Bulldog from um, my aunt. Again, the one responsible for the... Transformers comic book here, the definitive G1 collection volume 6 one, and um, that will be coming um, at some point. Um, it just didn't really make it because, I mean, things from China take a long time to come and, you know, sometimes they come fast, sometimes they don't, so. And, well, um, my uncle, he got me a, um, a guide to 3D printing, and you can probably guess now what it is that's working in the background. Oh hell yes, you can. You can probably guess now. Um, 
But yeah, and... By the way, I almost forgot, um, one of my other uncles, um, he got me these metal, um, sets that he can do, um, for Transformers. So he got me a Soundwave one, which, um, I have j just, like, I've already built it, and, um, my goodness me. It was a nightmare, honestly. The small pieces, you gotta be so focused and so concentrated with it. He also got me a Bumblebee one as well. Um, what What is in the background right now um, is this. This thing. This is a 3D printer. Um, this is Anycubic's 3D printer, the um, Anycubic 4 Max Pro. I got a light on and everything. And. Um, you can see down there what it's working on right now. Um, it's working on doing a Unicron. And um, if you want to, that's what the screen right now looks like at the moment. Um, right there. Um, but yeah, that, uh, honestly, having, having um, a 3D printer, I think it's actually quite cool. And... Um, <laughs> Unlike most presents, it's actually the one that I've been using since, like, day one. I got it. I've it's, it's been in, like, just working for the past three days. Um, I'm going to show you a couple of things that I printed already, uh, just because, I mean, they look really, really awesome. So, I printed the owls, of course. Um, I'm not going to paint these because I think they look pretty, they look pretty good in white. Uh, we then wanted to do a transformer, so um, we tried to do a miniature scaled uh, single print Megatron that would transform right off the print bed. Unfortunately, we did it with uh, generated supports, and yeah, he's a brick basically. Um, trying to transform one of his arms, I broke one of his arms, so uh, we've just put it back on a different position. So um, yeah. I'll probably spray paint this one silver and, you know, I'll just stand in my Legion, in my Legion collection. Um, just, you know, being like the All Hail Megatron, leader of the Decepticons, and all the rest of it. Um, but yeah, I mean, even in such a really, really small thing, I hope it's gonna focus, please focus. You can see the amount of detail that it's done. And I mean, it's insane, this 3D printer. Um, it's managed to get all that detail on that midsection just decreased in size. Um, that one was decreased at like, uh, that was 500%, I believe. Um, he recommend, the person who's done it, um, recommended it should be at 1000%. Um, so yeah. Uh, this is the 1000% uh, Fusion Cannon, which, um, unfortunately, despite his best efforts, uh, he wasn't able to incorporate within the uh, single print, so you gotta do it separately. And then, uh, just for the sake of it, I decided why not do um, his nemesis, Optimus Prime. This is this is Optimus Prime right here uh, with the trailer as well. So yeah, that's that's currently what I have printed. Um, but yeah, um, please, please, please do expect for there to be future series that I'm going to do with the 3D printer, where I'm going to have a look at some 3D printing models. Maybe when I've taught myself how to use 3D printing software, I may even see if I can do my own 3D print designs and we can review them. We can do a stop, mo stop motion speed up of building them. We can put them together. If it's supposed to transform, it tr we I show transformation, um, and yeah, um, it'll. I think that would be cool to do. Not many people can afford and even get a decent three D printer that can do fairly big size stuff. Um, so I mean, for one, I am very very grateful. Just to say, my parents were the people who um, are responsible for getting me this 3D printer, so thank you. <laughs> and um, <laughs> yeah, um, I'm just going to show you that um, 
When you do get it, you do get this piece of paper for leveling. You don't want to be seeing that, though. Um, it can print all these um, different plastics, and it shows their um, heat, um, well, their degrees uh, Celsius that it can get up to. So, I mean, that's pretty cool. I think it's cool that it can print nylon as well. I mean, not, not many printers can do nylon. What I am going to say is that I'll be doing some LEGO in New Year as well. Um, so... Um, for, I think, the second or first time of having to do it, I'm going to take down my cup video, because, to be honest, I mean, I was, like, start the whole day just feeling a bit rubbish and just thinking I wanted to go in with it, just doing a video. I had no plan, just honestly no plan, so, um, please do expect me to be going into videos in the future with a plan. I'll be doing a tutorial and a new transformation video of him in the new year. And also, the other Lego figure that I said about that I had done. I've not brought it down with me, but that will be happening in the new year as well. And also a tutorial for that in the new year as well. Um, before I do end this video, I just want to show you um, what... This is supposed to look like um so this is cura this is what i'm using for my 3d printing so um that is the first half of unicron there this is someone else's design i am going to tell you right now this is someone's design so it's not me who's made this it's someone else has if you're looking at it on cura i mean it's insane the amount of detail that's in it um I will give you a link to where you can try and download this for free as well, um, if you would like to. Um, and just to warn you, if you are new to 3D printing, I would say please, please, please take the time to learn how to use the software. Don't jump straight in. Take the time, it's worth the patience, especially when you are leveling for the first time. You do not want to make that one mistake where you gotta do, go through lots and lots of prints. So, this has been Cybertron John, with the end of the year review, <laughs> I guess, for 2019. Hope you guys have had a really, really good Christmas and a happy new year. Peace out.